Do you feel like you don't make the best decisions when it comes to money? Well, you're not alone. Our next guest says that women could use more advice on everything from credit card management, affordable child care, and this is a big one, negotiating for a higher salary. She's written a book called Real Money Answers for Every Woman, How to Win the Money Game with or Without a Man. Please welcome Patrice Washington. Good morning. Hi, Good Patrice. Morning. Good morning. We've been talking about yeah. this. Yeah. So you say the, the men are jealous. They're not a part of it. Yeah. How come we, we need advice too. Everyone. Yeah. Okay. All right. You say there are several money lessons that every woman needs to learn, but the most important lesson is to affirm that you are the CEO of your yes, life. Yes, absolutely. Every woman needs to be able to step up and take charge of her finances. And I go all over the country talking to women, and I can't tell you guys how often I hear, well, my husband will do that, or when I get married, he'll take care of that. Oh, no. And I'm constantly mm. reminding women, <clears throat> you are the CEO of your life, and a man is not your financial plan. Because most of us, 56% of us, are going to go into retirement alone, mm. either because wow. of divorce or, unfortunately, mm. the death of a partner. And so, whether voluntarily or involuntarily, Voluntarily, we have to take control of our finances. Yes. yes. Okay, next you say, and I was there. I was in a world of hurt at one point mm -hmm. in time with credit card debt. Dug myself out, but a lot of people find themselves in that kind of trouble, and you feel there's no way out when you're looking down, you know, from the bottom of the hole. Yeah, well, I think that what we have to focus on are the lies that we tell ourselves. Right. Right? <laughs> so there are some lies that actually keep us in debt, keep mm -hmm. us bogged down by credit card yeah. debt. And one of them is, I work hard and I deserve it. Have you guys heard that? Have yep. you said that before? Now, here's the thing, Patrice. To, in, in my defense and other defense mm -hmm. out there, is I use my credit card to live for a while. And yeah. I have to pay, you know, for school, <laughs> for books, for life, not, right. not a shopping spree. Right. Absolutely. And you that's know? not everyone's case. Right. But even when you're in it, there's still some, at some point where you have to go, okay, enough yeah. is enough. Yeah. And I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired, and so I have to do something. So in a case like yours, that's why I always talk about us earning more money. Because a lot of us feel like, well, you know, I don't make enough to save. Mm -hmm. I don't make enough to pay off this debt. I don't make enough to get ahead. If that's the case, I'm sick and tired of personal finance books going straight into credit yeah. and straight into budgeting. There's a conversation that we're missing. And at the end of the day, women are, unfortunately, in this country, there's a wage gap. So over the course of our careers, we're losing $530,000. That's money that could get you out of credit card debt, Let's right? Let's make sure that doesn't happen to Jessica. Yeah. So step one <laughs> is face your fears. You have to face your fears. So one of them is, again, looking at what's going on and going, you know what? Enough is enough, and I have to uh -huh. move forward. I can't be scared to ask for what I want. I can't be scared to get the money that I need to pay off the credit card mm -hmm. debt. So I'm going to walk in and be bold, armed with information, of course, and say, hey, I'm not getting what I should, and it's not an emotional conversation. These are the facts, and this is what I deserve. Patrice, you also say step two, make a brag binder. What's yes. that all about? Making a brag binder <laughs> is about women being more bold and confident about the ask. So sometimes we're, we're not quite sure about what we bring to the table. We mm -hmm. forget how amazing we are. So make a brag binder. Print out those great uh, performance reviews. Uh, print out those certificates, the awards. Put it all together so that you go in, again, not just having an emotional conversation, but this is the value that I add to your organization. This is the value that I add to your project, and this is why I deserve whatever increase I'm asking for. This next one, you say practice saying no. Why, why do you have to practice saying no? Okay, now this is a big one. This is a big one. Because as women, by nature, what I love about us is we're nurturers, and we're giving, and we want everyone to be okay. Yeah. But sometimes that's to the point of our own detriment. And so we keep saying yes to things that we really should say no to. No, I can't come help you, you know, volunteer and do that because I have to earn more money yep. and charge what I'm worth over here. And some of us are so busy being busy, but we're not being productive mm. to get spinning to our prosperity. We're spinning our wheels. So that means telling friends and family sometimes no. I can't go with you there. I can't do this for you for free and taking a stand. And we have to have the same enthusiasm as a two year old. No is a complete <laughs> sentence, and I'm walking away. <laughs> uh, if you'd like to meet Patrice, she's going to be signing books at the Barnes and Noble at the Third Street Promenade tonight at 7 p.m. Once again, the book is called Real Money Answers for Every Woman How to Win the Money Game with or Without a Man. It is available in bookstores everywhere and online at realmoneyanswers.com. Patrice, that was good. Thanks, thank, thank you. you. Thank you.